Hello, hello, hello. Oh, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to 31 Days of Halloween. And today is day 11. Did I say that already? <laughs> um, This video is a little different because I'm sick and I'm delirious. For this wig, honestly, for this look, I was going to do like the spider crawling out of my eye, but I really wanted to wear this wig and it has bangs <laughs> and it would have covered my forehead totally. So I didn't do it. Anyway, I'm going in with just matte eyeshadows all over my lid. I wanted it to be like my skin tone, but completely matte or even a shade lighter. So that's what I was going for. I didn't want it to be too bright because as you guys can see in the intro, there's no color besides black in this. And that is what I'm doing. Also, I'm a little un under the weather. That's why I sound like this. Kiko Milano. Um, gel eyeliner and honestly I have not used gel eyeliner in so long I miss it I miss it I have like four in my kids and I have them in different colors but I miss this it was so easy for me to just get my precision right and that's what I'm about to start using again going back to it um, but I'm just adding a little black and then pulling it just a way to soften it because I wanted the um, the wing or the line I'm creating or the curvature that I'm creating, so to speak. Um, I didn't want it to be so harsh, so I'm going in now with a brush to just diffuse it. I still want it to be impactful, but just diffused. And who am I if I don't dance in a video? So, you see what I mean about being... Just easy and precise with the gel liner. It was just so easy. Also, that brush is from Sephora Collection and it helps that it's really thin. So now that I have a great outline, I'm going in with this um, eyeliner. It's an ink eyeliner from Anastasia. And actually, I won't lie to you, this eyeliner is one of my favorites. This is like my third pen, right? Not bottle, pen. I really like this eyeliner. Also, Anastasia actually have, or they had, I'm not sure if they still do, a pot liner. Y'all, it's, it's really good. It's really good. So here, I am tight lining. That's what I would call it. <laughs> I should have done it before, but, you know, I didn't. Now I'm using this mascara. Oh my God. I think after the end of this month, I'll stop using the, this mascara. Ever since I got it in PR, I've been using it in every look. I I love it that much. It's really, really good. <laughs> I love it that much. So on the other eye, I just did the same liner. And now I wanted it to be softer than the other one purposefully. So that's all I did to that because you see that the web is on that eye. And I'm just priming my face. Not really my forehead because nothing's going there. I'm using Danessa Myrick's Yummy Skin and the Burberry Foundation. Mixed it together. And foundation got in the strand of the wig. Pulled it out. <laughs> and now I'm just putting it all over so I can give it a good blend. The brush I'm using here is the... House Labs foundation brush, and I really like it. So the Burberry foundation is on the thinner side, and it's just a wee bit too light for me right now. Um, then I remember when I initially got it, and that Yummy Skin foundation is a bit, just a smidge darker for me, and I love the texture of both, and mixing it together, y'all know, I mentioned this like two videos ago, I love mixing foundations. It's just my thing. I just love it. And I'm just making sure my blend is even. Going in with the Milk Concealer. Now, I want to say, once I blend all of this out, I'm still going to look a little crazy and it's going to look bright. But remember, most of the time when we're doing makeup for camera, specifically just for camera, I'm under a lot of studio lights. Um, if Sometimes if I don't use colors that differentiate from my foundation color or my skin tone, it can look washed out. I already know what my camera settings was going to be when I took my photos. And you can see in the beginning, it looks fine. Um, 
I just don't want you to think this is jarring. Obviously, I'm not going to use my makeup like this or a lot like this. If I were going out just like my day to day, it would be a lot softer and more subtle. Um, so I just wanted you guys to know that I know this can look a little jarring and it can look a little draggish. Um, and that's not what we're trying to go for. <laughs> I mean, that's what it looked like, but that's not what we're going for in our day-to-day -day lives. And as you can see, like, I want to, my face to be very snatched. I wanted my center to be very bright because I knew I was going to go in with the uh, spider webs. And I promise, y'all see, like, you will see, everything comes together. This is one of those looks, or my looks, I'll say, trust the process, because it always looks good in the end. And the powder I'm using here is also from House Labs. I really, really like this powder. I want to get in other colors, but like I said, I have a lot of setting powders. So I'm just trying to finish the ones I'm using now and then move on. <laughs> so this is what I mean. Like my face looks ashy here, but I'm under like three or four lights. Actually, four lights because I want you guys to see everything that I'm doing in detail. Um, but in person, I promise, it don't look crazy. It does not. But when things are in 4K, you know, you gotta, gotta make it do what it do. So I'm just adding more powder around my neck area. Because I didn't really put a lot of foundation on my neck. Um, as you can see, my face and my chest is the same. And after I used the loose powder, this is also, uh, this is a Burberry face powder. And I just like using it for my under eye. And I'm just fluffing up my brows. It's not really important, but it's a habit. Um, the, my bangs are going to cover them. So I don't even know why I did this. And you guys see I did it off camera because I knew it wasn't going to be showing. Um, here I'm using this gold shade from this um, trio from Pat McGrath. And this blush is from Fashion Fair. This blush is from Fashion Fair before they relaunched. And listen, who I got to talk to at Fashion Fair? They need to do a better job of me. I don't see them enough. Like, I don't see their social media presence enough. And I, their stuff is so good. This eyeliner is from Give. Um, I think this is the third black eyeliner I've used in this look. Um, and I think I used four in total. But yeah, I'm just smudging it out. It's really, really soft. Everything so far from Give uh, has not worked for me. But this eyeliner... Their eyeliner and brow products I love. So my face is looking dewy because I just set my face. And I'm going back in with my powder brush and just pushing it in, in my skin. This is the Valentino Twin Liner. And one side, I'm going to use both sides, but the side I'm using right now is the ink version. Or the pen version. And I'm just drawing lines if you recreate something like this you can do as many lines as you want to and you can actually be more much more intricate than I was I wish I had used a stiffer liner though this was too flexible which is a good thing but for what I was doing it was just it wasn't giving me the curvature I needed like I feel like the lines could have been more curved and that would have been impactful and I just wanted to add more. I mean, at this point, you you get the picture, so you can add less lines or more lines. Um, I think if I were going out, I would probably do, like, the web all over one eye and leave the other eye and do something like the graphic because I knew I was going to do the webs. Um, that's why I didn't do the curvature on my lid or a cut crease, if that's what people call it. Same eyeliner I used in my lower lash line I'm using for my black, uh, as a black lipstick. Um, I have so many eyeliners, child. This being used for a lipstick is fine. I'll just probably use it for a lip. I have black lipsticks. I just couldn't find it. 
it's somewhere. It exists somewhere in the studio. And then I went to the um, gel form of that Valentino eyeliner because it's a little more matte than the give one. So this is the look for the face. Now let's move on to the chest area. So here I actually used body paint. So I was trying to get it to like just work. It was still a little runny when I applied it at first, as you guys can see here. But this um, chalk or body paint, as you can see also, I have a shirt on. <laughs> um, the mix is from Ben Eye. So it's just their black body paint. And just I just spray, sprayed water in a little cuppy. And then exactly what I did for my under eye is what I'm doing on my chest. And here you can enjoy a little music. Creepy music, but music nonetheless. I had to scoot back because I wanted to make sure that I was getting this on camera. And sometimes, like, even here, I wish I had used a stiffer brush because it just wasn't... The brushes I were I was using, they were too flexible, like, so it wasn't giving me the precise curvature that I wanted. Um, yeah, something stiffer would have been better because I'd be able to control it more. It would have felt like a pen, and I was making a mistake because I think that part of my chest was like, I don't know why. I had child. I fixed it, though. <laughs> And the camera, I think, is going to go a little out of focus when I'm doing some curves here. But honestly, I'm just replicating the same thing I did on that side, the bigger one, and under my eye. And I learned that I just prefer the way this brush was working for me, even though it was still too flexible. <laughs> I needed something stiffer. But same thing, same thing. And then I decided to just give a little symmetry for the web on my face under that eye and then just on the corner of my mouth. Sorry that this is out of focus. I, <laughs> I have a monitor in front of me. You would think I would catch these things, but I was so focused in trying to get that right. And yeah, I added another line because I felt like it looked better that way. And so in the intro, you see that I have black gemstones here. I forgot to press record. <laughs> Sorry. But the anchor points that it joins together, that's where you could just put this. And I was feeling myself. I got my claws. Oh, it just came together very well for me. I, I was feeling myself. I won't lie. I was, I was feeling myself. And it just looked good. This is what the pictures came out to look like. And you can see I don't look ashy. It looks good. Because I told you to trust the process. 